welcome to the very first of this year's Summer Story Stations! It's been a while since I've done videos like this, but the summer should be full of fun and interesting experiences, so I thought it might be nice to start these up again. As always, I have a very special guest. Everyone, please welcome Penn. Hi everyone! So stoked to be back! I always love these videos! Because you get to be in them? Yes! <laughs> Fair enough! Alright, let's start at the beginning, shall we? I graduated college. I've officially been awarded my degree in marketing. It's about dang time! How long have I been telling you to get the heck out of the school system? For about six years now. Everybody takes their own time to do things. Everybody takes things at their own speed. I'm proud of you, Basil. I know it was hard. So congrats on getting it all done. Thank you, Pen. <laughs> and I'm sorry I didn't get it all done on your schedule. It's okay. <sighs> You can't listen to every good idea I have. It would be too much. Was it worth putting in all that effort? I'm gonna say yes, because I did all the work. But honestly, I won't know until I start getting, like, jobs and stuff. Fair enough. Speaking of jobs... Not quite yet, Pen. That's gonna be a little bit later. Before I talk about what Pen's suggesting, I'm gonna mention that I did get my wisdom tea pulled. Oh, right! I forgot about that! That was forever ago! She was no fun! I was the only one who got to hang out with her in the back room while they kept her for observation, and all she was doing was math! Come on! Yeah, I had to keep my mind sharp! You didn't even do any of them right! But I was keeping my mind sharp. I was also ignoring the fact that I forgot to ask them to keep my teeth. I was kind of bummed because I was going to make cute little earrings. I mean, I guess they're not really cute as much as like weird and spooky and kind of fun. But they threw them out, and now I can't have the creepy earrings. Stupid biohazard waste rules. Yeah. Well, after I was done with the surgery, I hung out till they cleared me, and then I went home and watched cartoons. I was in charge of ice packs. Pretty much, I was the nurse as Basil recovered. I even had a good nurse bandana to keep all the hair out of my face, but I wasn't allowed to distribute the ibuprofen, which was like... Half of the nursing job, but I guess that's okay. You're a minor pen. <laughs> that's a job for an adult. Uh, or at least someone who can at least spell ibuprofen. I can spell ibuprofen. I be without tapping into what I know. Hmm. I be Y-U-P-R-O-F-I-N. That's what I thought. We'll work on it, and one day you too can get the ibuprofen. Yeah, well, I still had to hand out ice packs. So that was very doctory of me. It was, and those ice packs were amazing for when the pain kind of flared up. So thank you for taking that job very seriously. After I was finally recovered from my wisdom teeth, I had to pack pretty quickly because... Basil was hired to consult for a small retro candy shop. It's got all sorts of fun candies and treats and sweets, and Basil gets to help with their marketing over the summer. Yep, I'm pretty excited about it. I'll be putting together a resume of real work experience, and that'll help me as I continue looking for more jobs in the future. I think this store has a ton of potential, and I'm really hoping that I can add value to the business. It'll kind of prove to myself that I know what I'm doing, and I'm not just good at it on paper. You know what I mean? There's a difference between like real life and homework. Well, you have your degree, and you were a really good student, so I'm pretty sure you got this. Here's hoping. <laughs> so far, the toughest bit of the job is being surrounded by super yummy treats and having to ignore them. Oh, is it ever? That has been so hard. They're literally just out in the open, but I've been very good about not eating them. I brought a big bag of candy from home just to make sure that Penn had a proper supply of sweets if it was really needed. And it's been a big help so far. Just knowing that I can have a snack when I get home makes it much easier to ignore all the sugary treats when you're at work. Perfect, then it was a great idea. So far, I've been helping with social media presence, SEO, and kind of clarifying brand identity. It's too early to really see if any of my input has been paying off. Are you having fun with the job so far? Yes. I think I made a good choice going into marketing. I'll be honest, there were a few years during school that I was not so sure, but I'm glad I stuck with it. Then I suppose that makes up for you taking forever to get out of there. <laughs> well, I think that's all I've got for May. It's been a pretty busy month, but a solid start for the summer. 
If May has been any indicator of what the rest of the summer is going to look like, it ought to be pretty great. Would you like to do the honors, Pen? Why, yes, thank you. We'll see you next month with some more stories from the summer. Until next time, have a great day, great week, and don't forget to stay hydrated. That summer sun will suck all the water right out of your body. It's no joke. <laughs> Very aptly put, Pen. See you all next time. Bye. Bye. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to make sure that you're not missing any of the crazy things we get up to. And hit that bell so that you're double sure you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.